It's who she is to her core. This tension goes way back. I'll do anything to get that person back. And when you know it can never get back there, that's what sucks. And that's what's hard. Kim and Kanye finalize their divorce in March 2020. Hey there, beautiful people. The Kardashian saga is taking a wild turn, with Kim Kardashian at the center of it all. She's not just dipping her toes in the water. She's diving headfirst into uncharted territory. First up, the Travis Barker affair at the gender reveal party. All eyes were on Kim, and for good reason. She was practically composing love sonnets to Travis, and let me tell you, it was hotter than a summer day in the Bahamas. This tension between them goes way back, like a love story for the ages set against the backdrop of the Kardashian kingdom. But wait, there's more. Now Kim has her sights set on Bad Bunny, Kendall Jenner's main squeeze. Can you believe the audacity? Kim Kardashian, green with envy over her own sister's love life, is swiping their men like a kid in a candy store. Desperation is radiating off her like the glow of a thousand suns. What's driving Kim to these jaw-dropping links, you ask? Stay tuned, dear friends, because this drama is just getting started. And don't even get me started on the rumors that Bunny might be entangled in this web of seduction. Kendall Jenner reportedly stumbled upon some rather enticing pictures of Kim on Bunny's mobile phone. While prepared to dive into the twisted Kardashian psyche and uncover every scandalous detail, it seems like Kim Kardashian simply can't keep her head out of drama. She is getting more and more desperate to find a new boyfriend. But now, she has gone as far as trying to steal her sister's boyfriend, Bad Bunny, during a concert. Kim has put in a serious effort to get close to Bad Bunny, and Kendall Jenner didn't take it very well, to say the least. But what exactly did Kim do, and even more importantly, how did Kendall Jenner expose Kim? We all know that the Kardashian-Jenner family is used to drama, and this time, Kim Kardashian and Kendall Jenner started a serious fight over Bad Bunny. Kendall and Bad Bunny have been dating since March, and they've been seen together at various events, making it clear that they're in a serious relationship. Kim, on the other hand, has been on a downward spiral since her divorce from Kanye West and her breakup with Pete Davidson. She has been talking about how lonely she is, especially as she's in her 40s and feeling like she has no one to share her life with. Recently, she even started saying that the entire divorce was a mistake and that she wants to have her ex-husband, Kanye, back. The divorce was finalized in March 2022 after six years of marriage, and they share four children together. But that's not all. Kim has also been caught trying to flirt with various celebrities. There has been speculation about her dating NFL star Tom Brady, basketball star Lonnie Walker, and even trying to flirt with LeBron James, who is married. During the concert, Kim's behavior took a flirtatious turn, especially towards Bad Bunny, who was with Kendall. Kendall and Bad Bunny were happily dancing and enjoying themselves, but Kim's advances became more and more obvious. She tried to get closer to him, make direct body contact, and flirt openly. This made Kendall extremely annoyed, and she intervened by pulling Bad Bunny away from Kim and positioning herself between them. The situation didn't go unnoticed by people at the concert, and social media erupted with comments and reactions. While some defended Kim's actions as innocent dancing, most people were on Kendall's side, seeing Kim's behavior as disrespectful. There was a clear tension between Kim and Kendall after the concert, with Kendall feeling that Kim had crossed a line. This isn't the first time Kim has been too flirty with her sister's boyfriends. She was previously caught flirting with Travis Barker, who is Kourtney Kardashian's husband. If you were in Kendall's shoes, how would you react to your sister's behavior? Do you think Kim is really that desperate to find a new boyfriend, or was this all harmless fun blown out of proportion? Let me know in the comments, and if you want to stay updated on celebrity drama, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time.